Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to another episode of Let's Play Gothic. Now, in the last episode, we finally brought back the last Focus Stone. And that means, after we've talked to Satyrus, we can now get some rewards, namely from Kronos and from Riordion. Now, I need to find him. He's over here. That's one Greetings. dude. Greetings to you too. Satyrus said you had a reward for me. Yes, please. Ah, come here, come here. Our spiritual leader has told me about your heroic deeds. Deeds All indeed. The people in the camp. No, the whole colony are deeply indebted to you. Take this as a modest reward for all your efforts. Thank you. Basically, what he gave to us is just in here a few potions and you should drink this one for 10 more life this one for 10 more mana and this one for plus 4 strength and dexterity immediately because those potions are really good now I'm not entirely sure if you have more of those Show in his inventory but I'm going to look for it anyway no he does Let's see on the left side, I was looking on the right hand side, I was thinking like, wow, that's not really a lot of supply. No, nope, it's on the left hand side, but he has nothing that we want. Now, let's go down to Kronos. And by going down, I mean jumping by drawing my sword. <coughs> now, Kronos is walking over here, and I would like to talk to him as well. Hello. Good day to you, mage. Now... How about that? Satyrus said you had a reward a for me. Wow, As the nice. keeper of the ore, I'd like to give you a small portion of our ore for your great deeds on behalf of the camp. Nice. I hope you'll make as good use of it as we do. <laughs> I'm not sure for what you use the ore, but I, I don't want to know. Writings. But I would like to see what he has for trading purposes, actually. He could have a lot of ore, and I'm interested in that, because I want to trade all these weapons. Wow, that's a long inventory slot. Okay, let's see. What could I need, potentially? I suppose that... no. I don't need this rune. I want it more than one of the light scrolls, actually. Let's make it five. Because I like to have light around, because it's probably a good idea. Now, what do I have equipped as my amulet? I can see that! Wonderful! Okay. Well, mana bonus, dexterity, life. Ooh, this ring is nice. Okay, whatever is causing this interference has to stop, by the way. My screen is flickering right now. Okay, I have a ring of 10 strength. Let's take that. For now, let's keep it to that. And sell all these axes that we actually don't need. Right, let's have a look. So as amulet, I have 15-15. That's actually pretty dang good. Now, ring-wise, I have a plus 4 against weapons and a plus 5 for strength. So, a plus, a plus 10 strength um, ring would be awesome. And if I can get a ring with plus 10 weapon, weapon defense, that would also be very Hello. nice. By the way, why is he carrying a bow? I wonder I want that. To acquire magic writing. What do mages need that bow for? Now, I don't need these amulets. There's another worthy enough. Life bonus. Life bonus. Dexterity. Mana. Strength and dexterity. There's never one with 10 strength. Oh, that was probably the amulet, right? Ah, crap. Yeah, hmm, no. 20 life is nice, but it really is not the best I can get. 
And down there is something that I really need. Too bad, really. I would have liked to have that. But it seems there is none that I really want to have at this moment. Alright. We need to go to the Fire Mages now as our new objective. But before we do that, we're going to take a little nap because my health is not looking that great. So basically what now happens is that we need to go to the Mages of Fire and need to talk with them about the possibility well, it's not sure, of course, but the possibility of this huge ore lump causing the barrier's destruction. I'm not sure how they will like that, because, you know, the, the fire mages are actually the ones... Who? What's Lee doing out here? Hello. There was a time when I led a very different life. Probably. I was one of the best generals of this country. And then you put I've in prison. I spent my whole life fighting for my country. But the nobles okay. didn't like me because the king listened to my advice and they knew I posed a threat to their dirty business. I hadn't counted on their insidiousness. They used the king's wife to get me. I was blamed for her pointless murder. King Roy oh, had that no sucks. other choice. The services I had rendered my country saved me from the gallows, but they robbed me of my freedom. One day I'll be free again then I shall return and take revenge. I shall have my revenge. Wow, he's pretty vengeful. May I pass through here? Of course. Well, too bad they don't have Batman in real life because he wouldn't have so he would have solved that murder in quite a jiffy. And probably without being wrong about the murder with him. And who killed her. But, you know, it's all not really possible in real life, because no one is Batman in real life, or is there? No one knows. Right, so let's jump ahead a little bit, because we can. And also, um, I think I'm going down the uh, southern route here, this time around, because I like to mix things up. Oops. Well, I nearly got killed, but I am still alive, thanks to acrobatics, because that just saved my butt. This is what acrobatics is good for, by the way. Falling down pointlessly and getting almost killed by it. It's probably a job description for every acrobat in circus as well. There we go. One more down the drain. So remember the chapter title, which was called Xardus? We'll talk about that in a bit. And hey. here is Milton. They are all dead, all Who's dead. dead? Calm I couldn't down. Help was, was not there, I... Calm down, Milton. What <laughs> happened? Indeed. They killed the magicians of fire. All of them apart well, from me. Well, that's bad. And I was close to death as well. Yes. You'd better tell okay. me the whole story from the beginning. One thing after the other. Well, they are okay. dead. What's that to tell, cool, actually? Milton. Keep the cool. <laughs> It all started with the old mine caving in. That's bad. The oh, that's mine bad. Caved in? Caved yes. in? Yes! It all happened very fast. Nobody in the mine made it out. The guards. Other than you, probably. <laughs> Same time, two times lucky. Alright, how? I met Gorn. Yeah. Really? Where? Oh, that's by the uh, old different monastery um, by the sea. The two of us conversation for arc, yeah. I'm sure he'll tell me all about it when we meet again. Probably. How could the mine cave in? I have no idea. Some of the diggers who were waiting in front of the entrance said something about a massive earthquake and a huge cloud of dust coming from the tunnel. Were you there? Yes. That's where I learned See? about the cave in. See? He was there and got out alive again. Then his all his mages were killed and he got out alive again. 
Coincidental? Hmm. What was that you said know. about the magicians of fire? I only know that they were killed by the ore baron shortly after the mine caved in. I'm not sure why they would do when that. When I returned actually, from our but, adventure you know. under the Ring of Stone, the guards at the gate suddenly attacked me. They shouted words like traitor and collaborator at me. I had a very narrow escape. Yep, because you just made it about 10 meters off the camp and you stood here waiting for me. That's pretty dumb. You should hide. Far away yeah, from he probably no. should. Diego and I agreed to keep an eye on the two gates and to warn our unsuspecting friends from the other camps. How many Please friends do you have and need to wait for a question there? Why would the ore barons want to kill the magicians? Yeah. It doesn't make sense. Indeed, why? That's right. The guards just didn't give me any opportunity to ask. They drew their swords immediately. Oh, right. Perhaps Diego knows more. He was in the camp when things got worse. Where can I find you? Well, he already told He's you. We're gonna on the ask anyway. Of the old camp near the back gate. Please talk to him. I will. See you later. See you later. Everything is fine. See you later. That's right. So yes, all the magicians of fire bar one have been absolutely murdered. Why? Well, I suppose Diego will tell us that once we arrive at his location. So yeah, Milton and Diego are waiting at the opposite side of gates and talk to their friends to not let a whoa to not let anyone get harmed. I'm not exactly sure how effective this is, but you know. They are at least thankful and thinking about what could happen if one of their friends got in the camp and got killed. I wonder though why Diego is choosing to go outside and not just stay in there. Maybe he's not so crazy after all. Hey, shh, be quiet. <laughs> Hello Diego. I've already <laughs> talked to you on actually. the other side of the camp. Okay. So you already know what happened. But did you also hear about the planned raid on the free mine? Well, that's bad. Wow. Um, yeah, the that's the most important dead? question. That's a long story. N we've got time. <laughs> Just tell it's me, tell indeed. Me it. It's not the first long story I've had to listen to. Well then, luckily I was in the Ore Baron's house when they got the news that the mine had collapsed. Gomez was hopping mad when he heard about the accident, and he was afraid that his position could be at stake. Very true. Of course. Who controls the ore controls the Indeed. colony as well. That's right. Since he has no source of income anymore, the goods from the outside world won't come in anymore either. True. Nobody will work for him if he doesn't get another source of it income. It doesn't mean soon. that the fire mages that's need the to die, though. Free mine. To be honest, that's Gomez's only chance to maintain his power. Two hours ago, two dozen guards set out for the free mine. All right. Yeah, but what, but what happened, happened to the, the fire mages? Caristo and the other mages were the only people in the camp to remain rational. Meaning? They forbade the raid and demanded a settlement with the two other camps. Okay. They forbade Gomez to raid the free mine? That's oh, bad. Yes. Huh. Caristo and the others shouldn't have been so self-confident. Gomez didn't trust them anymore and had them perfidiously assassinated. The question about... What? Why would you kill someone who is not your opinion? Other than if you're a complete idiot and think that mages couldn't possibly be something positive in your camp. Like, I don't know, they could help you and stuff? <sighs> Irrational. Oh well. What are you and Milton going to do now? Yeah. We'll indeed. stay here for a while to warn some more friends so they don't more bump friends. straight okay, into the guards. Well, fine. But you could do us a favor. Hmm. And that would be? Consider it done. Tell me what you want. Look out for Lester and Gorn. They need to know what happened here. Tell them that the four of us will meet at the same place as always. All right. If I see them before you do, I'll warn them and send them to your meeting point. Thanks, my friend. You really seem to be an all right guy. Go now. We'll meet again later. All right. That's mad. I need to warn the new camp about the free mine. They must Definitely, hurry up. yes. They'll have almost reached the free mine, but they never get through the fortifications of the new camp. 
They don't need to get through them. A few months ago, they found a path that leads over the mountains and right to the free mine. Good that everyone knows, knows about that. Can you teach me something? Yes, I can. T cool. All right, then I probably. Oh wait, Come actually, back. we don't want to do that just yet. Here. I want to see how many points I have. Okay, 57 is actually pretty dang good. So, what I want is one point in strength and dexterity. Hello? So, I can equalize those can two skills yeah. to a point where I can actually increase them pretty well. And then, we're going to increase 20 points in strength. Your str for now. Your Come back soon. What? Crossbows? I, I didn't do with crossbows. What are you talking about? Oh, you mean because I increased dexterity? Oh, okay, right. all right, I got you. I was thinking I, I didn't increase anything with crossbows. That's horrendous. I didn't do any of that sort. Now, so the new camp is now being invaded by, as he said, two dozens of guards that just come running at their, well, at their new mine. Oh, free mine, rather. Would be cool if they have... The old camp has the old mine. The new camp has a new mine! That would be pretty dumb to name things like that, wouldn't it? I would have thought they actually would do that, but they didn't. Anyway, there's a new teleporter rune that we have, and we should make use of that right now. Oh, there is Gorn, by the way. I'm glad you returned. Something terrible has happened. Yep, I already Let know everything. The mine has been assaulted by the guards from the old camp. Nobody saw them coming. Hang on. How? But of course, you found out about it in the old camp. Yes, you Gorn did. Arrived here That's just before right. You did. What could have caused Gomez to dare to take such an aggressive step? Can I answer that question? That such a I, I raise my hand. Can, can, can I? There we go. The old mine collapsed after water seeped in. Yeah. Collapsed? Of course. Then the whole thing makes yeah, sense. Yeah, he, he doesn't even need to Gomez think. That dot 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 is just meaning, okay, he's well, he already has now. the answer. Now he's he doesn't have anything on this end. He'll do anything. Yeah. Gomez has had all now the worst thing of the killed. world. Had them killed? Why in Beliar's name would he do a thing like that? They were against the attack on the free mine and opposed Gomez. Yep. Then we're all doomed. Without the other oh, six you didn't say doomed, we'll really, that, that I think we are doomed, like, then we're all doomed. But in spite of that, oh, I thank you I'm for disappointed passing this now. dangerous message on to me. Okay. How about that? Yeah. When you sent me to the Magicians of Fire, you mentioned there was somebody. Well, I had hoped we could make it without his help, but the way things are developing... Who is he? Yes, all right, all tell right. me. Many, many years ago. Oh, please. The short yes, yeah, thank please. you. <laughs> okay. Well, when we, the Twelve Magicians, created the barrier back then, our magic powers were directed and controlled by a Thirteenth Magician. A Thirteenth Magician? So they're I not Twelve, but 12. actually Thirteen. Wow. Most people who did not experience the early days of the colony believe that. This Thirteenth Magician was our leader. All this took place before we were divided into the circles of fire and water. Great. But he left the old camp, which was once the only camp of the colony. Okay. So, where, where is, is he? Today? Indeed. He lives in seclusion, in his tower, in the middle of the Orc land. Oh, great. Just about the southernmost point of the colony. Why did he leave the old camp? That would be another he very interesting to question. The invocation of undead and oh, wonderful! A necromancer! Ah! Most of the other magicians opposed him as well, and his unholy deeds. What happened then? Unlike Gomez, he was no butcher, so he avoided the conflict and left. Um, summoning undead for what purpose other than to set them free is... What reason? What is this thirteenth oh. magician called? His name is Zardus. Hardly anybody remembers. Oh, the there we go! Story. Finally, a name the that we can go just by. Call him the Necromancer. Yo, the Necromancer! Really? Who would have thought that? I'll make my way to Zardus and ask him for help. Indeed. He's the only one that can help us now. 
if he knows I wonder how, how though. Out, or hmm. doesn't want to help us. He will. <laughs> You're pretty convinced. Problems. What problem? problem? Yes. Over the years, we've tried to get in touch with Zardas several times. But? But it looks like he prefers to remain undisturbed. Meaning? What does that mean? <laughs> None of the messengers ever returned from his tower. Meaning? You'll have to find a way they to kill get these creatures. Oh. Looks like this is well. going to be interesting. Yes, indeed. How will I that get would be another creature? very important if question. If I knew that, I would tell you. I'd advise you to do some research in our library. Maybe you'll find something in the old books. Reading the books of in the age of creatures. internet, really? I'll rummage through the library. Uh, all right. I'll be I'll back. do whatever I can. But I have been exiled from the old camp because I have helped you. You don't belong to the old camp any longer. Then I welcome you to our community. Wow, that was actually pretty quick. Does that mean the mercenaries will take me on? Talk to Lee. He'll see to it. Then come back to me. All right. May you return in one piece. Now let's talk to Gore. Hello. Hello. I met Diego and Milton in front of the old camp. That's good news. They want to meet you and Lester. Good news, everyone! Yeah, but he doesn't Thanks. look that old, actually. Nothing more valuable than and good he's friends not carrying in troubled glasses. times like these. You're almost one of us by now. You're reliable. Thank you. What have you got planned now? Indeed. Our entire defense strategy will have to be changed. That takes time. Until Lee and his people are ready, I'll join Kord's provisional guard. May I ask what kind of defensive strategy but you're going to come. do? Because if ever you're looking for me, start here and walk towards the mine. Mm. I'll be on guard there. You know, def defense is only effective if the enemy has not yet reached his goal. Unfortunately, they already have. So it's not really that useful now, is it? more an offensive strategy that you need to employ, not a defensive one. Know the difference, please. Anyway, let's talk Hello. to Lee. The old camp has banned me. I'd like to join you. You've done much for our camp. I can make good use of men like you. Let's keep it short. Welcome to the new camp, <laughs> mercenary. Okay. Here, take some armor. Good that you're here with us. I need better armor. Yeah. You'll first have to earn your armor. Apart from that, they don't come cheap. Okay. Wow, 70. Yes, please. Give me the heavy armor. This armor is the best piece you'll ever get inside the barrier. And believe me, it's worth the ore. Right. I like that. And two-handed swords, hand please, two for sword. the first time. Okay, let's go through the basics first. Oh, skip the, the basics. I hate that. Position. You'll need a great swing to attack your opponent with such a heavy weapon. Raise your arm and swing it straight down. That's usually enough to knock the opponent down. Use the there is no knockdown in this game. But good that you again. know and tell me. Two-handed swords are ideal for coordinating side hits to keep the opponents at a distance. Mm -hmm. That should do to begin with. Have a practice. Have a practice? <laughs> and you have a kit can or what? No, oh, let me get through here. Now this armor that we now got is infinitely better than the one we had previously. 45, 5, and 20. Now we'll go to 70, 10, and 35. We do look blue now, but this is much, much better, trust me. You want to have this armor at this point. If you do not want to take the armor, well, then you make things a little bit more hard for you unnecessarily. I believe I've done this part with the old armor for once, but... You know, it's not really necessary, so getting better armor is probably a very good idea at this point. Also, you should talk to Wolf now. Their blade. Hello. Um. You okay? Well, it's quiet for now. If the rogues. Get All right. Yeah. Blah blah. Hmm. A mercenary with a specific name, but nothing to talk about. Wonderful. I believe Wolf has a special quest for us, doesn't he? How do I get furs and skins? On the way to the new camp, you'll come across Aiden. He can teach you how to skin animals. 
Yeah, I know that. Yeah, I know that. But... hanging around in the north of the old camp. It's on the way to the trading square. Doesn't he have something special to say? Who are you? Let's talk to him I'm first. I'm Wolf. I make armor. Wow, that's a pretty short description. <laughs> I'm looking for better armor. Since you're one of us now, I can sell you one. Hmm? Oh, bandit's armor. No, we don't want that. Do you trade in anything else? Well, it seems he doesn't I have the quest for us just yet. Maybe later on. Oh, thank you. Finally, some ore. 9,000 ore. Wow, that's a lot. That's a lot of ore. Okay. Now, let's do this properly. Let's, let's see. We have to get all this stuff here. We don't need that. We don't need these keys. Yeah, we're gonna sell everything that we have in our inventory. All teeth. All this. All these 10,000 coins that we don't need are going to go there. They don't bring ore, but I want them out of my inventory. I don't need those at all. I would assume we might reach about maybe 7,000 or maybe more. I'm not sure. Because there's a lots of stuff in my inventory. And I want to get rid of everything. Because I'm not going to collect anything after this other than loot bodies for potions. Bodies that I know that will contain potions are normally humans. So we'll loot those, but animals and stuff I probably will skip from now on. Wow, that's a lot of stuff. Wow, okay, I'm already breaking the record here. Uh, magic ore... The journal page... Oh, alright. The art of fighting... And this stuff as well. We don't need those. Just sell them. And this one, and... Oh, we actually have a ring with 10 strength already in inventory. Wow. Okay, well, we're gonna equip that in a second. Uh, I can't sell these, but I can sell the weapons, probably. It's always nice. And you can also uh, have more ore on the right-hand side than the left-hand side. A poker. Ha! Huh. wonder if it's also a flush. Okay, 36. That's fine. Now let's stack up the ore on the left-hand side. So you can have 13,000 and we have only like 10,000 on the left-hand side. It works out fine. You waste like 3,000 ore at this point, but I don't really care because that's so much ore, I don't think we'll ever use that much anyway. We've got 13, no, more than 13,000. That's like, um, you don't need anything. I'm gonna buy all these potions here, probably. So, I believe about 30 something dexterity. 40, 45, perhaps. Crossbows, by the way, only need strength and not. Oh, actually, they do need dexterity. Wow. I always throw in the second game where they need strength. Okay. Ignore my comments. They need dexterity. Alright, so we're at. Actually, we're at 25 dex. How in the heck am I carrying that bow? Oh, it does only need 20. Alright. Very well then. We've got everything we need, including armor, including everything else. So we should be fine for now. And next episode, we are going to step forward in this quest line and going to assault, or rather, defend, as Gorn would put it. The free mine. How many enemies we'll face and what kind of enemies there will be. 
we shall see in the next episode of Let's Play Gothic. So, I will see you all next time.